it's time for this young loggerhead turtle to go to work. We can tether turtles in these little cloth harnesses, put them into this tank and dull swimming place. University of North Carolina biologist Ken Lohman studies sea turtles that are programmed from birth for an extraordinary journey. Mother turtles buried the eggs on the beach and then returned to the sea, and the eggs hatch about 50 to 60 days later. While advances in agricultural science have always been critical to ensuring we help feed the world, its impact and importance is even greater now, as population grows at a rapid rate and the availability of arable land steadily declines. Science and technology solutions are essential to meeting growing demand for food, maintaining market competitiveness, and adapting to and mitigating risks. Summer Hill School was regarded with considerable suspicion by the educational establishment. Lessons were optional for pupils at the school, and the government of the school was carried out by a school council, of which all the pupils and staff were members, with everyone having equal voting rights. We define paraphrasing as putting a passage from an author into your own words. However, what are your own words? 
How different must your paraphrase be from the original? The answer is it should be considerably different. The whole point of paraphrasing is to show you have read and understood another person's ideas and can summarize them in your own writing style rather than borrowing their phrases. If you just change a few words or add some bits of your own to an otherwise reproduced passage, you will probably be penalized for plagiarism. You should aim to condense and simplify a writer's ideas and describe them using different sentence structures and expressions. Nature offers no greater splendour than the starry sky on a clear, dark night. Silent and jewelled with the constellations of ancient myth and legend, the night sky has inspired wonder throughout the ages a wonder that leads our imaginations far from the confines of earth and the pace of the present day and out into the distant reaches of space and cosmic time itself. Despite a number of events in recent years devoted to language diversity, language endangerment, and multilingualism, such as the International Year of Languages, public awareness of the issues is still remarkably limited. Only one in four of the population know that half the languages of the world are so seriously endangered that they are unlikely to survive the present century.
The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. There is every reason to believe that effective regulations are not merely a luxury that only the rich can afford, but an important foundation for a thriving private sector and economic growth. But the broad pattern of the past five years has been that the main reform efforts are taking place in rich countries. The advantage of the great European and American orchestras is that they were able to establish their iconic status in an age when their identity could become entrenched, there was less competition and it was easier to create a brand. Not only did they have the best halls, they attracted the best musicians, who tended to stay put. Quite obviously, a significant rise in the number of people in a given area or country will affect the demand for a whole host of goods and services. Note that a change in the structure of the population will increase the demand for some goods but reduce the demand for others.
A level of competence in chemistry is essential to the professional practice of material conservation. An understanding of scientific concepts and a basic scientific vocabulary enables the conservator to understand conservation problems, treatments, material techniques in a systematic and quantifiable way, which can be communicated not only to colleagues in the profession but also to those from other disciplines. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobbes said of the state of nature, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. In some respects, to be sure, wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slock of subsistence agriculture. At an early stage in the examination of the domicile of dependency rule and so far as it related to married women, 
it seemed to the commission that it would be better to examine the whole concept of domicile, particularly as dependent domicile arises in the case of minors, children under the age of majority, and mentally disordered persons as well as in the case of married women. The Assembly also decided that, at that special session, it would adopt a concise and action-oriented political declaration, agreed upon in advance by consensus through intergovernmental negotiations under the auspices of the conference. Plato often explores the father-son relationship and whether a father's interest in his sons has anything to do with how well his sons turn out. A boy's social identity in ancient Athens was determined by his family identity, and Plato often refers to his characters in terms of their parental and fraternal relationships. Socrates was not a family man and considered himself as his mother's son. Children as young as 14 months old will spontaneously help others for no reward. But a study of 3 to 5 year olds found that, although they would spontaneously draw pictures, if they were given a reward for drawing pictures, then later they wouldn't make any drawings unless a reward was offered.
Yet this landscape, which appeared so alien and confronting to the white settlers and explorers, had been home for thousands of years to indigenous Australians for whom the plains, ranges and deserts were a sustaining, spiritual, and integral part of their existence. Most countries are affected by labor migration. In many rural places, the traditional extended family has been undermined by the need for family members to migrate to towns as an economic necessity. Migration, therefore, presents a major challenge everywhere to social and economic policy.